the housing market and you're looking to live in a traditional small town where the businesses are all locally owned, then I may have the opportunity for you. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Cody. If you or anyone you know is looking to buy or sell real estate for any of the reasons you see listed on your screen now or any other, please consider giving me a call. Here are just a few of the services that I offer and we custom fit each one to fit your situation individually. Here is a group of professionals that I work with to ensure that your transaction goes as smoothly and as quickly as possible. And until next time, the best deal for you is the only deal for me. So this brick home was built in 1969. It is 2,088 square feet, three bedroom, two full bathrooms. It sits on 0.6 of an acre. It has beautiful hardwood floors throughout and a very large kitchen. You won't have any of the family members complaining about being cramped up at your family get-togethers. It has had an add-on to a beautiful sunroom, which you're about to see on this video watch tour now. As you enter into the front door, the first thing you're going to notice is the beautiful hardwood floors. The ceiling looks to be in good shape too. I didn't see any signs of water damage or old water marks on it either. Leaving the living room, back behind the living room is where you'll see the kitchen, very large kitchen, which you'll see here shortly. The sunroom is back behind the kitchen, which was an add-on to the house, and it's beautiful. It's actually the last room we're going to look at it. You have a door to the carport, and then on past that door is another door, which leads into the utility room. That is where your washer, your dryer, your breaker box, and your hot water heater is. Some of the breakers in the breaker box is actually marked, which a lot of times in these houses these days you actually have to guess on. Leaving the utility room, you can actually see just how big this kitchen is. We have a small closet door across the hallway from the kitchen, which is a little pantry. And right beside that, to the right, is the first bedroom. Again, beautiful hardwood floors in this bedroom. Decent sized closet with a good window of a street view as well. leaving the bedroom and entering the hallway again. As you can see here, this is where the attic access is. The first door on your left will be the bathroom. Very large countertop in here. Tile walls as well as the tile floor. Again, ceilings look good in here as well. Didn't notice any watermarks on any of the ceilings, so that's definitely a good sign. We'll still want to have it inspected though, as always. Leaving the bathroom, the next door on the left is the second bedroom. This room actually has two closet doors. It has a street view window, and it also has a window facing the side of the yard. Again, no watermarks or nothing on the ceiling, so that looks to be a good sign. Now the, the door at the end of the hall, this is actually the master bedroom's door. Again, nice hardwood floors in here. It actually has another bathroom that's a full bathroom attached to this. And the 
door leading outside leads out to your back deck. As you can see, you got a shop back there. The last room we're going to show you is a sunroom. It was actually an add-on to this property, but whoever done this did an excellent job of it. The way you step down into it, I kind of like that. I really like the flooring that they chose in here as well. I like the exposed brick wall. Um, that's for you to decide whether you like that or not. Personally, I like the exposed brick and the flooring that they picked out for this room. But that's going to do it for this video walkthrough. If you or anyone you know may be interested in this property, feel free to give me a call and reach out anytime. And remember, the best deal for you is the only deal for me.